members and friends of the family of John F. Kennedy. And in Paris, in Atlanta, and in Warsaw, in San Francisco, and in New Delhi. More than anyone had realized before that day, the spirit of this young American president had taken hold of the hearts and the imaginations of countless millions of people all over the world. During the months that followed, in civil rights, in medical care for the aged, in greater dignity for the poor, in an increase of caring for one another, the American spirit suffered under one shock after another, and the confidence of our people was deeply shaken the American people are good and strong. We've undertaken a solid commitment to heal those wounds, and at long last, the darkness has begun to lift. I believe that America is now ready to meet the challenges of the 1980s with renewed confidence and with renewed spirit. These challenges, of course, My call is to the young in heart, regardless of age, to the stout in spirit, regardless of party, to all who respond to the scriptural call, be strong and of good courage, be not afraid, neither be dismayed. For courage, not complacency, is our need today. And we can have faith in the future only if we have faith in ourselves. <laughs>